Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and I apologize for my appearance, but I've been doing some work down here in the studio, and I wanted to get your opinion on a few things, and that's because I just switched my whole production workflow to 4K. We won't be able to do 4K 60 just yet, but we can do 30, and that's what you're watching right now. I did have to make some adjustments to my cameras because some slight subtleties in the autofocus were making things kind of funky behind me, so I would love to get your feedback on how sharp I look to you to make sure I've got the focus just right. I don't have anybody that can sit in this chair right now to focus everything. But I do think the quality of the video is a lot sharper versus what it looked like before. And we have a few things here on the table that you can have a look at here. I do have the autofocus enabled on uh, this camera, but it seems to be working very, very well. Now, if you're curious what I changed, I did upgrade the GPU in my production machine recently. I use vMix to produce these videos, and I've got a link to my vMix video down below in the video description so you can see how I integrate everything into my workflow. And my cameras are these older JVCs that I bought a few years back. I bought these primarily because they supported 1080p30 out of their HDMI ports, which at the time was actually hard to find. A lot of cameras were just doing 1080i, but these cameras are 4K capable, and they can output 4K just like they can do 1080. And I was surprised by how good everything looks out of these cameras that I've been using for a couple of years. I was going to upgrade the cameras in addition to all the other work I've been doing, but I think I might uh, just kind of stick with these cameras for a little bit because things do look very nice. I've got my side camera here, and then of course we have the overhead. And these cameras are all identical, um, but they do look pretty good here. So we're going to stick to the uh, cameras that I have for now, but you will be seeing an increase in the visual quality uh, rolling forward. I've got one more 1080p video uh, lined up, and then after that I'm going to stick to 4K, provided the workflow uh, works itself out. So I'd love to hear what this looks like down in the comments section, and we'll be continually slowly tweaking things to, you know, kind of get to a better production quality over time. I'm not very good at all this set design stuff, but we'll maybe look at doing some changes on that end soon, but not change the channel if that makes sense. So again, let me know what this looks like to you at 4K down below in the comments section, and I'll be back with more content very shortly. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games. Baby Metal Fox God. Tom Albrecht. Amda Brown. Matt Zagaya. And Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.